Hi, this is Cynelia Benz, and as promised, I am now answering your questions from the Death of the Unspoken Truth class. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken. This question is from Hilary, and she says, I'm a fan of your work. Thank you for doing what you do. You're welcome, Hilary. The idea of a physical body elemental and a soul as separate entities is a new notion to me. I understand that the situation of the physical body elemental and the soul benefits both beings, and wonder if you could speak to the idea of there being conflict between the body elemental and the soul. For example, the notion of not being good enough seems to affect many of us, and I wonder where that feeling experience comes from or compulsions that can be destructive, like overeating. Is this a conflict with the soul and the physical body elemental? I work as an acupuncturist and often it feels like I treat the body, but I am really working on not the soul exactly, because I have the impression that the soul is fine, as is the body except for the thinking, but maybe it's about getting both the body and the soul to work together in harmony. Of course, I know that these are things to work on with fear processing exercise, and I do for myself, and I have shared it with countless patients. Thank you for offering illumination on this. I have so loved the exercise as well, living for a million years. <laughs> wow, great. Um, well, you're welcome again, and very good that you have brought this up. Indeed, there are individuals who have had a huge amount of conflict between the soul and the body. They just do not get along. And sometimes a body or a soul will carry very, very strong programs that they have integrated somewhere in their experience, not necessarily in this lifetime, maybe sometimes in different lifetimes and the programs they carry will have uh, conflicting results for either the body or the soul. So with the example that you used uh, of not being good enough and the eating disorders, for example, definitely conflicting energies between the soul and the body. You've got it spot on. And what I usually suggest immediately when this comes up is for the person to do the body reconnection exercise from the Ascension 101 course. When I brought that course in, the Ascension 101 course, I had to personally do the reconnecting with the body exercise multiple times. I think I did it on a regular basis originally for about two years and then after that, since then, I've had to do it to build up that connection because I'm one of those cases where I was completely and absolutely disconnected from my physical body and my physical body and I did not agree on many, many things, did not work together and mostly because I completely disregarded any information she may have, any wisdom she carried, any experience she could share with me. Uh, I had completely disconnected from her and had to rebuild that connection, rebuild trust and rebuild a form of communication with my physical body in order to have a good, positive, nurturing and wonderful experience here uh, in this life. So yes, definitely you've got a spot on there. As you work with the body and the soul, maybe you can, um, as you become aware of that intent, you know, this person needs to reconnect. You can definitely suggest they do the Ascension 11 course and in particular the unit on the body. Right, there's two units, one informational unit and one exercise unit on that course. And um, I know it helped me tremendously. And I always have to remind myself to do the units on a regular basis. And I can tell my body's like, yeah, you haven't done it for a few months. 
maybe a year or so, you better get on with it. Um, having exercises also, uh, just talking to your body, you know, how does it feel? When you feel energy such as loneliness or wanting intimacy or wanting to be admired, those are usually to do with the physical body. And unknown to most people, you know, you can just hug your body. For example, if you need a hug, you can just hug yourself and talk to your physical body and tell her, I love you, I admire you, you're beautiful, here's a hug, I love you, love you, love you, love you. And it feels so good. My physical body just goes <laughs> really happy. And um, yeah, to start learning a vocabulary to speak to your physical body, sometimes it can be difficult. I took a long time because my physical body was pretty angry at me and did not trust me. Uh, because of the disconnect, you know, I had shut her off so, so, so intensely uh, for about certain decisions, especially that um, it took a while to rebuild that trust. So, yeah, you can absolutely, absolutely work together in harmony with your physical body. And I'm sure that once you review and look at that unit, you can start using it in your practice as well. So, yeah, thank you for your question, Hilary, and um, I hope that my answer has been of help to you. The information in this video relates to my class, Death, the Unspoken Truth. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken.